All right, so today what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be making it so that when I swap my pieces, uh, my pieces disappear, and then not only do the columns collapse, but also new pieces spawn in where I have some empty spaces. So let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. So here's where we left off. We can swap our pieces. Um, they'll know that they're matched, they'll destroy, and the columns will collapse. So what we're going to work on today... Computer, will you please report to the football field? Mr. Quinter is looking to have the water turned on for the kids to have for on, on the track field. Thank you. Okay, so welcome back. So here's where we left off last time. We're able to... <clears throat> Okay, so welcome back. So here's where we left off last time. We're able to swap pieces and can detect a match. And after a match is detected, it'll destroy the pieces and collapse the columns. So what we're gonna be doing today is just going through and having it after it collapses the columns, go through and check to see where everything is. And if anything is empty, we're gonna generate a new piece in that spot. So this is gonna be relatively simple as far as what we've been doing before. So again, we're just gonna go through all the pieces and if we find a spot that's empty, uh, we're going to refill that with a new piece. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add another timer that I'm gonna call refill timer. So I'm gonna add a new node, which is a timer node, and I'm gonna name this refill timer. Um, I'm going to set this to be a one-shot timer and I'm gonna put my wait time on this to be 0.5. I'm going to, actually, what did I set my other ones to? Oh, hey, cool, they're at 0.5 too. So I'm gonna to go to my node, my signals. I'm gonna connect the timeout signal with the grid. Uh, and so it already makes a nice function there. All right, cool. So let me put my grid into distraction-free mode here, and I'll come back to this in just a second. So I got my functions to destroy matched and to collapse columns. So I'm gonna make another one that I'm gonna call refill columns. So uh, we're gonna call this function refill columns. So what I'm gonna do with this is just like I said, I'm gonna loop through everything. And if I find an empty spot, I'm going to create a piece there. But just like before, I don't wanna create a piece that's already gonna have a match. So uh, up here, do, 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 uh, when I was doing spawn pieces, I checked to see if there was going to be a match at that spot. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to check to see if there's going to be a match. And so long as there's not a match, then I'm going to spawn that piece. So I'm going to be using a bunch of this code here. So I might as well just kind of grab this, uh, copy it, and then paste it down into my refill columns method. That way I can change what I need to. So for i and width, j and height, totally fine. I'm gonna choose a random number. Now, we're only gonna do any of this if the current spot is null. So we're gonna say if all pieces i, j, oops, j is null, then we're going to do all of this. So one way that you can indent a whole bunch of lines at once is if I choose them all and just press the tab button and then they're all indented. So what we're doing here is we've got refill columns for I and width, J and height. If the current space is null, we're going to choose, let me indent this comment too. We're going to choose a random number and we're going to store it as rand. Um, and then we're going to create a piece, which is going to be that, um, that random number from our pieces array. Um, we're going to set our loops to zero, and we're going to loop through to make sure that we, don't, that we don't go too many times to make sure that we're not spawning a piece in a place where um, we would already create a match. Then we're going to create that as a child of the grid, set its position, and um, set it to be the right thing in our array. So cool. So on our refill timer timeout, I'm going to call uh, refill columns. So 
refill columns. All right. Um, I can get rid of these pass statements here. I have a tendency to keep the pass statement when I don't need to, um, just because I really don't like seeing those red lines. So I'm going to get rid of some of these, these pass statements. Um, okay, cool. And because I want, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to be just a little bit picky about how this shows up. All right, cool. I'll get rid of one more. I know this is probably like the most boring content ever, but bear with me. All right, cool. So I'm going to save all my scenes. You don't have to, but I like to do it before I do anything. Get out of distraction free mode so that I can see the, uh, the output. And let's play. So, all right. I'm going to swap that. Oh, yeah. I forgot to actually start my timer. So let's start my timer. Um, so I want to refill after I collapse. So down here, uh, I'm going to have to... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to have to do get parent dot get node. And the node I want to get is the refill timer dot start. All right, that's better. So let's hit play. And let's make a match. And there we go. Simple as that. So there's a few issues here. First of all, um, as soon as we make a move, you can keep making moves no matter what. There's nothing that's making sure that you can only make a move once everything's settled. So we're going to fix that by adding a state machine here relatively quickly. The other problem is if I make a move that doesn't make a match, like say those two, nothing moves it back. So uh, that might be how you want things to work. I mean, that's how Puzzle and Dragons works, but we're going to change that. So. Um, the other thing we're going to do is, if you notice, our pieces just kind of pop into existence. It'd be cooler if we had a nice effect where they were kind of sliding in. So the next thing we're going to add is that slide in. Then we're going to talk about state machines. And then we're going to make it so that our pieces move back to where they were. So pretty quick video today, I know. Um, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. It's a nice function. We got a lot of the functionality here. So for the most part, there's a few housekeeping things to do. And then it's going to be fun stuff from there on out. So uh, if you learn anything new today, feel free to give me a like. Uh, you can still give me a like if you didn't learn anything new. Uh, nobody's, you know, keeping track. And <laughs> if you want to, you can ask any questions in the uh, comments down below. You can join my Discord where I'm chatting pretty much every day. You can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post a new video. And yeah. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day.